Ya. The incredible thing is, after almost three years, the government still has not said why it's holding these people. It hasn't come forward and said, this is the reason I am holding the guy there. That's incredible. They haven't done that, and they're trying to avoid it. Uh, articles have come out where people come off the cuff and saying a lot of people shouldn't be there, but the government's avoiding answering it, so at least until after the election, they don't need to confront the issue. There is no next deadline. The government filed motions to dismiss our petitions for habeas corpus, which are incredible because they're just repeating the same arguments they made for two and a half years that the Supreme Court rejected. The judge said we need to respond to those by November 5th. That means we'll respond by November 5th. They'll take more time to reply and there will be more time wasted while people are rotting in jail with no reason given by the government. It is the most un-American thing that has ever happened, I think. One of the concerns that we all have is that the government has a number of very, uh, has a number of outstanding questions from the petitioners regarding when we're going to be able to see clients, the circumstances under which we can see clients, whether all information that a petitioner tells us happens to be considered classified by the government. All of these points, which I'm sure have some, have some good faith basis behind them with the government, are, make it extremely difficult for attorneys to represent these petitioners and constitute what, from our perspective, sometimes can feel like a trap. There are some real fundamental issues. There are many detainees who were not arrested anywhere near the battlefield. My clients, again, were arrested in Africa uh, on a business trip and have been, in, have been jailed two years. I mean, there just is no way legally that they can be enemy combatants. And that's, that's an issue that hasn't even been addressed yet. So there are a number of really fundamental issues and we're just not there. Now they tell me uh, that they don't recall the